tactical march. Oh, get down. Right now they're preparing for sea burn, if you don't know what sea burn is. So chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear um, environment. about two inches. Two, four, six. I truly hope that you guys consider becoming a technical training instructor. I've grown exponentially as an airman, NCO, everything you can think of just by being here in this assignment. It's been great for me, great for my family. And I think it will be for you too. At the schoolhouse, we're able to train the next NCO, senior NCOs that are gonna be impacting those airmen in training. We are inspiring them and giving them the tools to help them better mentor our airmen to be the future leaders that the Air Force needs. We're just asking that you continue to, to send those NCOs and those senior NCOs that are motivated to, to really take care of our airmen, not only in the Air Force, but in the Space Force. If you want to become an instructor, I say 100% go for it. It is one of the most challenging, most rewarding jobs that you can ever have. Um, it will take you outside of your comfort zone and find new ways to relate and give back to each student. So cool when you're at the end of the program and you get to kind of help them reflect on who they were when they first showed up and to where they are now. And eight weeks, it's, it's not a lot of time to change someone, but it's enough to have an impact on someone. I volunteered to be an instructor here because I wanted to train, develop, and inspire and shape that next generation of airmen. The instructors that I had when I was going through were so inspirational. They motivated us and got us ready to go out in the field. And I wanted to be able to do that for the new senior NCOs and NCOs as they go through the course. I volunteered to be an OTS instructor because I wanted to be challenged. You know, this job, it's, it's definitely challenging. It's 100% challenging, but it's been absolutely worth it for the growth that I've gotten out of it.